So it has been around five months. And honestly, like, see, if I try and talk you through things that have happened in five months, it would take me two seconds. I've done nothing. Like, I've literally done absolutely nothing. It's mid... I was just about to say it's mid-April, but it's not. It's May. It feels like the pandemic's kind of like coming to a close, touch wood. Basically the world is starting to reopen now. It's kind of been reopening, reopening for like maybe a month or so. The first thing I did when everything started to reopen was go to the hairdresser. I did manage to get an appointment literally two days after the hairdresser's open. The hairdresser's opened before anything else, like before shops, before restaurants. Before you were literally allowed to go and like hug your granny, it seemed that the hairdressers were open. You could sit for five hours and get a full head of highlights. But I did go and do that because obviously my roots were so bad. Um, I hadn't had them done since September and I waited till April. I did film a few clips on that day, if I remember right. Hi, today is an incredibly exciting day. Um, I'm currently on Joe Carter because the noise is like that I'm really sorry because there's nothing I can do about it because I am going 70 miles an hour. Yeah, so basically, obviously my roots, don't look at my roots, they've completely grown out. I was meant to have my hair done on the 29th of December and then Nicola said, no, no, no. I'm gonna try and go more blonde. Will I be able to do that? I don't know because obviously like this is my natural colour that I'm now trying to take to this. I was in the exact same position last summer and I went to a new hairdresser that I'd never been to before and I asked, can you just like make this blonde, like can you make the top match the blonde, she made me like more brunette. And I sat there for four and a half hours and I came out like more brunette than I went in, which was like blatantly like not what I asked for. But I thought today would just be a really fun day to document because this is like the first thing that I've done that's kind of normal life since December. Like I think the 23rd of December was when police cars drive past, do you ever just like But I'm pretty sure I was on the Joe Carriageway and it was just they were basically unusable. We'll see how it goes, we'll see how I feel. I'm really excited to get the hair done though like oh, I'm so and then after that, I think I went and stayed at Sarah's, which is the first time I'd seen her literally since January, basically. We watched a May, we had a Chinese. <laughs> so we had some apple spritz. It was probably one of the best nights of the year. It's currently Friday the 7th of May and on the 26th of April, all the bars and restaurants open. You're allowed to sit outside, you're allowed to sit inside in restaurants but not drink. I I don't understand the logic, but like Nicola made it up, not me. So we went out for drinks. <laughs> I ordered four cocktails, dropped one of them, cut my finger. I think it's gone now, but it was like close to hospitalization basically. And then the Friday after that, we went to town and chow free up, me and Becca. The, the raspberry juice. to try it. Yeah, try home. What would you rate it out of 10? I'm going like a 7. 7! Mmm. When people say something's 10 out of 10 on TikTok, like I swear everyone on TikTok says something's 10 out of 10. I'm like, is it actually 10 out of 10 though? Why not? You could do dancing ones. <laughs> I can't dance. I literally, like, I can't dance the same way. I've just got no rhythm. Like, you know how some people look so fluid when they dance? I just look a state. I know. My body just can't, like, roll. You know? Just give it a big, deep breath in. All of my fat would individually squeeze out every single one of these. Oh well, like one of them ham, like, you've seen them hanging hams on the ceiling of a book. <laughs> no. <laughs> like a big, a big gammon steak. I saw that online. I saw it? Yeah. I don't like it. Not them. Um, that though, I like the... They had like a t-shirt version of it and then like a separate skirt. It so it was like that, but a t-shirt and then a skirt. Just like makeup brushes maybe. I bought some pants from Zara and I literally had to take them back today because I don't know what I was thinking, like... I bought two things in Zara and honestly they're both a pair of pants but I'm like, are these disgusting or are they like not that bad? The first ones are these and I'm like, 
I feel like Kendall Jenner would wear these and like obviously I want to be her, like doesn't everyone do? I was like, do you know what, I might just give them a go. All these are meant to come up to like here on a normal person, but because I'm five, one and a half, like they'll be full length on me, which I quite like. Um, and the next ones are these. Now, I just don't know. Like, was this such a stupid idea? But I honestly quite like them. But I'm like, do I like them? Like, you know, when they're kind of nice, ugly. But are they ugly nice? So I might not be able to get these on because I just kind of guess the size. I did like the pants. I wouldn't have bought them otherwise. But like, I bought them in small and extra small. And like, I'm not small and extra small anymore. Especially Zara sizing. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. And then today we just went out for sushi and that's pretty much it. Next week is an exciting week, it's my 21st. I'm feeling quite nostalgic about this time last year, like when I was still 19 and I was turning 20 in lockdown. Like the fact it's a year on, like it feels like a year because we've been in this for so long, but it also feels like two minutes because I've not done anything within that year. Like I've not aged at all, I've not been anywhere apart from this flat in my house. It's quite depressing when you think about it. But I'm officially finished third year of uni. We're moving out of this flat in two weeks. And I am excited. Like last year, I remember being really not excited to turn 20. I don't really like my birthday that much. I don't know if anyone really likes getting older. But I am actually genuinely excited to turn 21. One, because it's a good birthday. Like 21 has always been a good birthday. Not that I know from experience, obviously. But like, I feel like other people say it's like a big birthday. Not even over here though, cause you, like, there's nothing you can do at 21 that you couldn't do at 18. I just like feel like the world is moving on. Like hopefully, see people that are romanticizing like the first lockdown being like, oh, I wish we could go back to this. Like, are you okay? That's basically a full on catch up of the past five months and that took me five minutes. So I feel like that kind of describes how trash Mahal the past five months have been. But it's fine, it's done now.